What's poppin', y'all? They finally broke Kanye. They finally broke Ye. I didn't think I would see it. Nah, I thought I would see it a lot earlier. That's the real answer. But Ye went on Twitter and posted, well, Instagram and then on Twitter, and posted something in Hebrew, which translated roughly said, I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for any unintended outbursts caused by my words or actions. It was not my intention to hurt or disrespect, and I deeply regret any pain I may have caused. I'm committed to starting with myself and learning from this experience to ensure greater sensitivity and understanding in the future. Your forgiveness is important to me, and I'm committed to making amends and promoting unity. Now, the problem with this is it definitely wasn't an unintended outburst. Like, Ye was going on about this for the better part of what like six months that he was just going in and this is a thing where cameron even referenced this i posted it on my instagram which you should follow me at hell you seen i don't know how long ago i posted it though where he said connie plays crazy with people who he thinks he can play crazy with you don't have an outburst for months at a time like if it was one just rant then i can understand oh yeah you know that was just an outburst i just went off the rails that one moment you know it happens to the best of us but in this case you are constantly perpetuating this belief now whether or not he believes that i do believe that yay isn't going to just throw something out there that he doesn't have conviction that's one thing that you could characterize with yay's conviction so what changed yay's conviction i don't think anything changed it i think yay still believes everything that he said and i think he put this out there that he somewhat hopes some apology will be in order or an apology will be enough to move forward with what it is that he needs to do next because that's what it seems to be that's what seems to be the pattern with how yay operates like if he runs into a roadblock and he got someone upset then maybe he'll apologize at that point and he's been running into strong roadblocks when it comes to distributing this album someone some people are saying oh well you know he's just he can just drop vultures independently it's not that simple many record labels that would distribute this are owned by certain groups of people that may not have been happy with what yay said or are friends with people that may not have been happy with what yay said or are in business with them so i think there's probably was like an industry-wide hey don't touch this guy i mean he did get dropped the dude from wme which i think changed to endeavor now what was his name the guy's name is escaping me he's like this executive of a talent agency he was pretty much telling everyone not to work with yay he got dropped by adidas the problem is yay likes to sample a lot and when you like to sample a lot you've got to clear samples with people that own the music so let's just take the instance of Nicki minaj Nicki minaj didn't want to clear this wasn't a sample but she didn't want to clear her verse for the song new body so it couldn't release and he was upset about it and he was trying to get her to clear it now i don't think this has anything to do with what Ye is talking about here i think that was unique to Nicki minaj but if Ye is sampling music that is owned by record labels who are jewish and feel offended by what Ye said do you think that they're going to be willing to i guess just be like hey let's just do business together the hell no because if you take a look some people say oh money is the only thing that matters no it's not because why would jp morgan chase deny and shut down Ye's bank when he said he had 150 million with them it's clearly not just about money the problem with what Ye did is this thing just makes you lose on both sides because the people that were riding with whatever Ye was saying now they're looking at him like oh it was all for naught oh he broke like he didn't hold out which is ironic because the people that say this stuff that are spouting arguably worse than what yay was saying they're always anonymous they've got anime profile pictures they don't have their real name so they don't have to suffer any real repercussions for what it is that they say on the internet like losing their jobs so they just want to champion people that are faces that can spread the word that they agree with to pretty much ruin their lives so when you decide like oh my god my life is getting ruined i want to get it back in order and not continue on this tirade that doesn't really benefit anyone they're gonna look at you like damn you sold out so that's one thing he loses on that end he also loses on the front that this is something like even if yay had certain convictions there had to be someone in his team and I don't think it matters, but I'll just say this. There had to be someone on a team that said, hey, this isn't even worth starting because what's the end goal? Because if you end up apologizing, it's all for nothing. So you just might as well not even start it. Keep it to yourself. However, like I was saying earlier, even if someone told this TA, guaranteed he didn't listen. And he just felt like he could just pop back out when, like, he felt like he could just wait this out like a couple of months. Like, nah, this isn't no George Bush hates black people thing. This is a lot worse and plus like somebody hating black people talking about a white person you're you're not going to suffer any type of repercussion whatsoever unless 
you've got like a conservative audience. And even then, they're just going to get mad for a couple of days and keep supporting you anyway. You just got to apologize. They're very forgiving. With Ye, I want to see how much he has to do. Because with stuff like this, we've seen it. We remember when Lior Cohen was talking about, damn, what was the group? I'm totally forgetting. It wasn't brand Nubian, or was it? But Lior was talking about, was it, it wasn't Grandmaster Flash. I'm totally forgetting the person. But it was someone that was a part of a group. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But he was saying, quote, anti-Semitic things. And Lior was like, yeah, you know, I was trying to educate him. I brought him to the Holocaust Museum, this and that. So I wonder how many museums Ye is going to have to go to. I wonder how many organizations he's going to have to donate to. I wonder how many... ADL uh, donations he's got to send, who he's got to stand behind, because for the magnitude at which Ye perpetuated this message, there is going to be a much, much stronger, quote, embarrassment or like making up to do that I don't know if Ye is prepared for. And I don't know if he's going to go through with it because someone that's very headstrong, got a strong ego, I don't think he's going to allow himself to be walked around and paraded around with like his head down, which is definitely what they're going to want from Ye. And do I blame them for it? Eh, not really. I mean, if I'm in power and there's somebody talking crazy like this about me, yeah, he's going to have to really, really apologize and mean it. But that dude, Jonathan Greenblatt, is evil incarnate, which... <laughs> especially with how he was talking about Adidas. He's like, we have their, our foot on their neck. They didn't want to, they didn't want to drop, they didn't drop Ye fast enough. So we decided to apply pressure. I'm like, damn, like this is a corporation. Things move slow. But I guess, you know, when Jonathan Greenblatt calls, you better get to stepping, not the shooting kind. As for the future, uh, vultures, come on guys. Anybody that's talking about that, that thing's never releasing. Or let me rephrase that. We have no idea when that's releasing. A Ye album isn't released until you get the notification and it's out. And everyone's like, yo, Vultures is out. Anything with Vultures tonight, Vultures in two days, Vultures in a week, a month, a year, all of that stuff should just be tuned out. And if Ye fans are still like that and anticipating it and waiting until the last moment, actually believing anything that comes out of Ye's mouth when it comes to time and showing up on time, hey, you know, I've got I've got a plot of land to sell to you. Or what, what is it saying? I think it's something like, oh, I've got a beach house in Nebraska to sell to you. I am i don't remember that thing off the top of my head either. But yeah, I didn't think I would see this from Ye this soon yet. Here we are. Well, actually, no, I thought I'd see this much sooner. And I think Ye was trying to gamble or test the waters, dip his toe in with apologizing the way he was kind of making a little mockery with the whole Jonah Hill 22 Jump Street thing. And I just thought it was an amateur attempt and I didn't think it was going to work. And here he is. And one of the funny things that Joe Rogan was saying was that this is the best time for, you know, Ye to have been going on his tirade because of, you know, like what's going on in the world and the public perception around that, especially in the U.S. and parts of Europe. But he decided to, you know, flip back and apologize. So we don't really know what's going on in people's lives. I think anyone that's upset with his apology needs to kind of put themselves in his shoes. Like the guy's going through a lot. There's a lot of stresses in his life, including fame. And the people that won't accept his apology, hey, I can understand that too. After all, we don't even know if it's a real apology. But I'm just, I just want to know what was the breaking point. That's what I care the most about all of this. Because you really get to see people's motivations when something they, are, they have such a conviction for and they double down on. This is the most repetitive double down I've ever seen. Like eight to, there was at least eight to 10 double downs by Ye. So what was it that made you say, okay, I'm done doubling down. I'm waving the white flag. And that really gives you an insight into people's core values, which I care about more than any action they may have committed. Well, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.